Hello everybody, it is Zoms here. Welcome to another video here. And in today's video, we're gonna I'm gonna teach you guys how to get plutonium for Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, World at War for absolutely free. It contains the zombies, the multiplayer, and the campaign for all three of these games. Um so yeah, uh before we get into it, let's go through a couple things that we're going to need to install. So we're going to need to install Cubitorrent. Uh, I'll leave a link for it in the description. But if you search up Cubitorrent, it is this first link right here for the official website. Um, I'll click on the download spot right here. You just download it um, for this top part right here. And then when you actually open it, it should look something like this. All right. Obviously, you won't have this T6 full game yet, but we'll get into that um, in just one moment. Uh, so that's pretty much the only program. Uh, so the other thing we're going to need is I got to go on the Wayback Machine because sometimes Plutonium does not like me. So I would have to go onto an older date to require to acquire this uh, <laughs> beautiful screen. But if you want to use the Wayback Machine and follow everything that I'm doing, I will have links to everything in the description down below for the Wayback Machine, for the Plutonium uh, startup page, and the Plutonium installer all in the description down below. Um, I would even have the title of the link uh, that we're using uh, either in the captions um, right here on the bottom part of the screen, or I will be using them on the chapters right here so um, all you gotta do is just click download on here it'll be a .exe file you can pin it to your taskbar like I do right here on my little green cursor so if I open it up uh, it will bring me not well, you guys would go to this page it will bring you over to the login page um, if you're getting this crappy thing right here uh, you either need a VPN or you're going to have to do this on your phone for the sign-up process. Uh, so if you guys want a video on how to sign up for this, I guess I can make another one for you. But it's pretty easy to sign up and create a login and everything like that. But after you download the Plutonium application, here is another link right here that I will have in the description. If you search up Plutonium and you go to the install one, it's like the second one, the one right underneath it. Um, it will be this exact link right here. Let's go on to the Wayback Machine and let's load up the installer. We have to go back to 2022 um, because they did take it out in, I think, 2023, 2024, but it's just safer to go into 2022. Why? I know for sure this is at. If you want Black Ops 1, though, you're going to have to go into a little bit of a later date, probably sometime in 2023. Uh, but yeah, you can install the um, installer right here. For plutonium using this little link but if you just uh, scroll down or if you can even look on the right you can see with the black ops 2 right here I'm a mainly teach the black ops 2 portion you can pretty much figure out the black ops 1 and the world at war by looking at the tabs t4 is world at war t5 is black ops 1 and t6 is black ops 2 but if you own any of the games with steam Please go to this timestamp right here and I will tell you guys how to actually put it in Plutonium for you to be able to play. So to install the base game, we're going to have to go down to this torrent file. Um, as you can see, Cubitorrent is also linked right here, but I gave you guys the official link for it just in case you guys don't trust this link. Um, you're going to install the torrent file and now we're going to open up um cubitorrent i'm going to use world of war as a quick example but once you're in here we're going to click the plus button and you're going to have this little cubitorrent uh icon for these things uh if you're downloading black ops 2 it would be plu underscore t6 underscore full underscore game for world of war is going to be t4 and then also for black ops 1 is going to be t5 but I'm going to just click on Plutonium T4, all right, just as an example. 
and we're just gonna go and we're gonna create a folder inside of your files like I do here. I have my Black Ops 2 folder and I also have my World of War folder because um, I already have Black Ops 1 fully installed on Steam. But you just select that folder, all right? But this part here is a little bit important here too. Uh, once you create that folder for you, uh, it, this is just easier. I would recommend putting it in your documents uh, folder, your documents shortcut. Uh, just put do not create subfolder. It makes it a lot easier for whenever you're actually putting the actual files into Plutonium. So after that, you're going to click OK, and it's going to start downloading. I did not click OK because I already have it, but I just didn't have it on the Cubitorrent. So it's going to be green, and it's going to say downloading instead of seeding. But once it's done, it's going to show 100%. It's going to turn blue, and it's going to say seeding. So once, it's, once it says that, you are completely done. And that means once we go back into our files here, now we have the files for the game okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up plutonium so this is for the people that came back through steam so once you log in uh, to plutonium so if you it created a new folder and you installed the plutonium for full game uh, we're gonna I'm gonna use bo2 zombies as an example we're going to click on game settings and we're gonna select um, the direct file so I have mine right here for COD BO2 okay and I'm gonna select the folder and now I'll be able to play as for the Steam users you're gonna click on game settings select here uh, we're gonna go to the files I'm really hoping I'm not exposing anything right here uh, program 86 go to Steam then go to Steam apps go to common and then now you have all your games and so then you just click black ops 2 and you'll select the folder and then now you can see it would say steam uh steam apps common call of duty black ops 2 and all you do is just load into the actual game and then that's it so yeah just in case i think i have bo2 installed onto my computer so we're just gonna see if this works i might have uninstalled it from steam but I just don't have all the DLCs. So if you don't have all the DLCs, but you want to get it for absolutely free, you can do this as well. There is a DLC portion as well, but I'm not really too sure on how that whole thing works. I haven't had it fully work. Uh, so yeah, without the having the underscores and everything like that, if you guys are fine with the files. But now, as you can see, I've loaded up onto my account, and now I can start playing Plutonium. So... Yeah, that's pretty much the video here. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, put them down in the comments down below. I would definitely answer. Or you can message me on my Discord. I will have my Discord linked in the description as well. For anything, I will uh, help you guys. I can get into a call with you if you guys need it. Um, I can help you guys through it. But yeah, have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.